Alzheimer's disease is the most common cause of dementia. As many as 5 million Americans have it, according to the National Institute on Aging. And because the population is growing older, many more are destined to develop the disease. Five medications are approved to treat mental decline in people with Alzheimer's. They are Dinepazil, Galantamine, Mamantine, Rivastigmine, and Cognex, the brand name for Tacrine. Cognex is not a good choice because it's been linked to liver damage. Consumer Reports medical experts say of the remaining drugs, none is very effective. For most people, these drugs do not delay or improve the symptoms of Alzheimer's. But in rare cases, the drugs do help. And that leaves many patients, or the people who care for them, wondering if taking the medication is worth a try. All of these drugs have drawbacks. They're expensive, they have side effects, and they're generally not effective. For those reasons, Consumer Reports Best Buy Drugs doesn't recommend any of the drugs. But if you do choose to try one, it makes sense to pick a drug that has the fewest side effects and costs the least. In that case, generic dinepazil or generic galantamine are the best options. They can cost an average of about $200 per month or less and are generally well tolerated. But do watch for side effects from these and all Alzheimer's medications. Most of the side effects are minor, including nausea, vomiting, and dizziness. But in some people, serious reactions can occur, like a slow heartbeat, ulcers, or seizures. In fact, up to a quarter of people stop taking an Alzheimer's drug because of the side effects. And finally, a word of caution that may be difficult to hear. If the person taking the drug shows no signs of improvement within three months, you should know that it's unlikely they ever will. In that case, the medication should be stopped. For more information on Alzheimer's disease, for free, visit our website at crbestbydrugs.org.